Hi and welcome to my autumn winter 2019 capsule wardrobe. I feel like I've been doing this kind of without realising for the past few seasons. Every time it was hot I'd get all my summer clothes in and winter cl clothes go under the bed or in storage and then every time it's cold the opposite happens. So I've got my autumn winter stuff here now. I'm back in a polo neck which I just feel is like my favourite piece of this season and I'm just going to take you through how to kind of build a capsule wardrobe. It makes so much sense for so many reasons. Um, first of all, space-wise, it means that you can just have all your autumn winter stuff in here. Everything else can go away in suitcases, under the bed, in black bin liners. That's what I do with mine. A lot of the stuff I will show you is in stock, actually, and I've linked everything below. Um, but what's nice about this is you can actually see stuff that's been worn for a year and probably gone through about 20 or 30 washes so that you know it stands the test of time but at the same time, it's still quite affordable, so there's loads of ASOS, Topshop, H&M. So first of all, I'm gonna start with the tops. So my first thing to show you is a denim shirt. This one is from Misguided. I didn't realize how good Misguided denim was until I did a massive haul and actually ended up keeping everything. It's such good quality and it's so good for the price and the fit, which I think is really hard to get right with denim, is bang on. Um, and I've got this kind of baggy oversized like boyfriend style shirt and I put that with jeans because I really like that kind of like double denim look. I think that's a really easy outfit to go to. Next thing I think is really important is just to have like a thin polo neck one. This one is from Uniqlo. It's out of stock now so I've linked a similar Topshot one below I think it is. I also have the Topshot one and they're basically identical but having something that is thin that you can wear under coats that are a little bit tighter is really important for layering. I love a plain black polo neck like this. They are knitted so they give you the warmth but they're thin enough that you can like tuck into jeans really easily which is what I've done here um, and they just look really chic. I think that's such like a winter go-to look for me is just black polo neck, bold lip, like wavy hair yeah they're just really comfortable easy but they look quite put together so on the subject of polo necks I do have a couple to show you so this one is Uniqlo but the others are H&M so the first one is this thick caramel jumper um, I think it's a really lovely autumn shade to have the neck is really soft so I don't like anything that's too itchy around the neck and this is just like comfortable. And then it's just very oversized, very baggy. You can like tuck it into jeans quite easily and it just looks quite cool and slouchy. I love this. My boyfriend always says how nice I look in this and for a guy to say you look nice in a polo neck, it must be nice. And yeah, this one was $24.99, which I think is really quite cheap considering how good the quality is. Um, it's very soft. It's probably my softest one that I have and I really like it. Okay, so this next one is basic, but I do have a very basic wardrobe and I enjoy having nice basics. It's just this white ribbed long sleeved um, kind of t-shirt from H&M. I think it was like a few pounds. H&M are really good for basics. It has like a stretch in it so that when you wear it, it's very form fitting, but warm and comfortable at the same time, um, which I think helps especially on curvy figures that makes you just look quite like streamlined I suppose and enhances your hourglass figure if you do have one um yeah and I'll just get these in like black grey and white just so that they can go with anything it's also a really good top to wear if you're like going to model castings or you just want something plain if something else about your outfit is shouting like you have a snake boot on or like a really crazy coat and you just want something plain to go underneath then these are really good and they are just such good quality and so affordable okay next up is this grey H&M jumper. It's so textured, it's ribbed, it has an amazing cut to it, like it's really hard to explain, you'll be able to see in the cutaway a bit better, but it has such structure in the cuffs here and also in the neck, but everywhere else is quite slouchy and it's ever so slightly cropped so it's really easy to tuck into um, jeans and it's just really comfortable and it's cool it's a really cool color and it looks because of the shape and the way it fits it looks more expensive than it is this goes out of stock every single time because everyone loves them so much it comes in like four or five different neutral colors on the H&M site um, but the gray one is the one that always goes out of stock and it is my favorite and I think this with like gold jewelry is just really simple and really pretty and pair of jeans and like black boots and that's a really great winter kind of autumn outfit. 
Okay, let's jump in to bottoms. So, so the first bottom I want to show you are these blue mum jeans from Topshop. I was so chuffed when I bought these because I have not been able to find a good fitting pair with a wash that I liked, with the distressing that I liked, that also fitted me. I'm kind of like a hybrid between a pair and an hourglass. I've got quite a small waist, quite big hips, but quite a flat bum and then quite big thighs. So I don't really blame brands who just can't create jeans for me. So when you try on a pair and they fit really well, I had to buy them and you get back and you're just so excited to try them on. So these are the Topshop ones. I recently did a collab with them um, and so I chose these and they are just wonderful. I do wear these in an 18. It so depends on the brand whether I'm a 16 or an 18. I'm tending to be an 18 more, especially if you have a straight leg or a mum jean kind of style like this. It tends to have little to no stretch in the denim so that's when you need to size up. But these 18s fit me perfectly and look so cool, I love them. So next up, I'm actually wearing at the moment, it's the black Jamie jeans. I've worn these for years, for years and years and years. The only bad thing about them I find is that they can get slightly gray and less black the more that you wash them. So I try and not wash them too much. Um, but the fit is so good. And they have pockets, unlike the Jonies. The Jonies are a bit too jeggingy for me, but if you want something that actually does feel like a jean and does just fit in all the right places, then these are my go-to jeans. Um, I also get jeans from M&S and New Look. But yeah, these black skinny jeans, they're great. You just can't top them. You can wear them for like a night out with a bit of a kind of fancy top, something a little bit strappy, or you can just wear them in the day with a jumper and they are so versatile. My castings in them, I can go out to dinners in them. I could probably go somewhere really, really nice and expensive and just not feel like I'm wearing jeans. Um, so yeah, a bit of a no-brainer for me and I will always repurchase the Topshop jeans. I'm also seeing that they're doing a Topshop pure black Jamie jean. I guess maybe they've had some feedback at the fact that the colour fades a little bit on these. So it's always worth trying those out, but if not, the ones I'm wearing are linked blue. Next up, I talk about these all the time and for good reason. They're the leather leggings, again from Topshop. They're just coming out with all the autumn winter staples, but these are fleece lined, incredible incredibly stretchy. Um, I've got these in a UK size 16. I would probably prefer them in a UK 18. They're a little bit tight, but they're comfy like crazy. If it's a really cold day, it feels like wearing thermals, but it looks like really quite high fashion and like you've made an effort and you're very put together. These are about £35. Topshop are having loads of sales at the moment, so it's always worth keeping an eye out. Um, but yeah, cannot recommend these enough. If you are above a five foot nine i'd say get the tall version because this is a regular length and on me i'm five ten and they're a little bit cropped um you can also wear these with black boots and it gives that really elongated like leg look and it just looks so cool when you pair with black boots um very catwoman-esque so love these they're always trending on top shop and they are always sold out so if you do see them in either your size or a size up i would really really recommend Next we're going on to skirts. Skirts is not really something I would go for in summer, but oddly I wear them loads in winter. I think because you can pair them with tights. You don't need to worry about shaving your legs. You don't need to worry about tanning or like cellulite or wobbles or anything like that. You can just chuck on some tights and be done with it. So these ones, um, this one rather, is from Topshop. Um, it's just very plain. It's got some pockets. It's actually, I think it's from like one or two years ago, but I found a dupe one from Topshop that I will link below. I didn't realise how much I shopped at Topshop. Um, it cuts in the right part, just makes you look very hourglass. Again, it's that very kind of put together look. I would wear something like this with a black polo neck, black tights and maybe black boots and then like a camel coat or something. Yeah, it just reminds me of kind of having roasts with the girls in Soho and it's just a throw on like no brainer. and. Yeah, it's a little bit, I guess it's a little bit slutty in the fact it is a mini skirt made of leather, but once you have a polo neck on and tights, it actually just looks really classy. So if you don't have something like this in your wardrobe, it really is a staple and one that I don't think people think of often when they think of autumn winter staples. So check them out. Let me know if you've tried a leather mini skirt on before, by the way, because that is so not usually my thing, but in winter and paired with the right kind of wool tights and like a cashmere jumper, it so is. 
Another not so obvious skirt is a denim skirt. I've spoken about this a couple of times. It's from ASOS. It's definitely in stock. They also do a curved version. I really like this one. It's somewhere between like a midi and a mini. It's not so midi that it feels too long when you wear it with tights and like you're too covered up, but it's not so mini that you're scared for when you bend over. It's just a really nice mid-length between those two and for that reason it kind of enhances your curves a bit more um again this with a polo neck black tights and black boots and some kind of nice beigey camely coat even a black coat i just think is really nice it's comfortable i do actually wear it in the summer but just not as much as i wear it in the winter so it's a good piece that you can have in your wardrobe the whole time and you don't necessarily have to store it I know ASOS do loads of versions of this, so they have like a petite, a tall, a plus, so there is one for everybody. Um, I'll put the exact link to this one below because it's just a great skirt. It goes with everything and it looks really nice. I love the midi blue wash. It's got pockets in the front and the back and it's got loops as well for a belt. So if you need something a bit tighter around your waist, then that can be done. Now when it comes to coats, I am just quite good at picking ones that I think last a really long time. They are practical, but they also look really cool. This is my favourite one at the moment. It's this um, probably calf length leather Borg top shop. It's reversible, um, which means you can actually wear it both ways. I prefer to wear it with the Borg on the inside because it's like this fleece material, which is so warm, so warm. And then this leather finish on the outside. It's got these lovely kind of cuffs as well that you can make tighter, which just look really fashionable it's 99 pounds when it's full price but Topshop are doing so many sales at the moment it's great i get so many compliments when i wear it and i feel like you can wear something really simple underneath it and still look quite fashionable so like today's outfit for example would be perfect black polo neck gold detail belts black trousers and just this coat and yeah it looks really cool i've worn it with boot heels i've worn it with trainers it just goes with everything and i think the fact that it's this kind of khaki color it's a really dark khaki color means that there's just something a little bit more special about it um also emma louise Connolly has it so it must be cool next i'm gonna go for my top shop blazer what i just had no idea how i had so much top shop stuff this is all bought with my own money by the way apart from the blue mum jeans and that coat they were gifted by top shop everything else i have bought and it's really interesting to learn who your favorite retailers are because i would have probably said like asos or h&m which do feature but top shop is like by far in the lead at the moment um so black blazer double breasted it's very oversized. I have a UK 16 tall, which works really well for me. Again, I'm a 16 slash 18 and I'm about five foot 10. It's something that you could put a really thin layer underneath. Something like this polo neck would fit quite well underneath it. Or if you wanted to partner it with the leather leggings and some like black leather boots, for example, and then just a simple top underneath, that's quite a good day to night look too. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with a black blazer also. This one has shoulder pads in it, which I think really gives it like um, an expensive look to the blazer, as well as if you are curvier like me, it's often that your hips are wider than your shoulders. So if you just have some shoulder pads in there, it really helps like create a more flattering figure, in my opinion. Next coat, I know I talk about it so much, but it's the All Saints Balfon leather jacket. It's just such a staple and I can't really wear it in summer because it gets too hot. You can do like an over the shoulders look. And winter, it's just a bit too cold. This comes in a UK size 14. Unfortunately, it's their largest size. However, it does fit me. It smells incredible. I did go vegan like a few weeks ago. I'm still undecided about whether that veganism will translate into my wardrobe. I don't know yet. But yeah, I've had this for two years. Took me a while to save up because they are a few hundred pounds. Um, but... I know that this is going to last forever, it will never go out of fashion, and look at the hardware, it's just so pretty. It's so simple, it's such a simple jacket, but it looks like there's so much going on. It's got this kind of belt thing here, it's got these like little flappy bits here, these are all the technical terms by the way. It smells great, so many models wear this to casting, I call it like the unofficial model jacket as well. Um, um, yeah, cool jacket, good weight to it. 
smells great, looks great, moves really well, and it just looks expensive. I feel like leather jackets are just one of those things that you can't buy cheap. Um, and you don't need to buy it cheap because you can just invest and then have that for decades. It's also one of those things that if it gets a bit scruffed up, like I don't mind because I just think that looks a bit more vintage and like lived in and cool. My last coat and probably my favourite is this one. Sadly it is sold out, I can't find it anywhere but I do have a dupe linked below. It's a French Connection camel coat with just a simple... Um, button here. There's really good structure in the collar which means it just stays up which I think is a really cool look as well. Um, but just having a, a camel coat, just a, a piece of colour, even if it is a neutral, can really break up like plain black outfits. Um, and yeah, I've worn this one to death. It reminds me of like going on dates in London at winter actually because I always wanted to like look classy but cool and put together and fashionable so this is a great coat for that everyone needs a camel piece and there's so much camel stuff on ASOS at the moment so I'll probably link an ASOS one below and yeah just a really great colour and just something that just screams autumn winter wardrobe looks great with a pair of black leather gloves and also um, a scarf I love the Zara scarves you know the really big oversized ones you can get they always do them in like a neutral palette so if you buy something like that and pair it with this then cool again i'm saying the same words over again but it's all just cool put together effortless kind of elegant chic and it's classy and that means that it's not like a trendy piece it will always just be relevant and good in your wardrobe i'm going to move on to some shoes now and first up i have a pair of black heeled boots um I live in these, I have to for work, they're great to go to castings in, you can actually walk in them but they're still very elegant and again if you wear this with like a black jean, black leather leggings it just looks so cool. You can if you want wear them with like tights and a skirt too um, but something that is a high enough heel so it gives you like that height and elegance but still able to walk in is really key. I think having a pointy toe like this as well really elongates the leg and personally for me I think looks a lot more feminine um, so that's the kind of shape I always go for. Also these ones have like elasticated sides so that you can kind of slip into and out of them quite easily there's no like zips that can dig in or anything like that but yeah live in these great pair of winter boots but to be honest I wear them all throughout the year. Next I just have a pair of black plain boots these ones are absolutely screaming at me to be polished but I just haven't got around to it plus it's boring um but they are lovely they are so comfortable these ones are ASOS actually um and they do have the original ones still in stock although I've had these for like three years and I think that's always a good sign when the retailer decides to bring them out each season with exactly the same design and pricing and everything but again great for like skirt outfits I love these skirts tights like a little velvet skirt or corduroy skirt or something like that with some tights and some flat boots like this they do just look quite elegant as well I think these are getting to the end of their life on the heel I can see here so I'll hold on to these for as long as possible because they are so nice just to throw on like I genuinely look forward to wearing them um and yeah so nice that you can get the exact ones below in the description box Next I have a pair of statement boots. I'm just a boot scout when it comes to autumn and winter. Um, these are the Topshop ones. These were gifted as part of my Topshop collab but I've been wanting a pair of snakeskin boots for ages and these were just perfect. I wanted something that was like not too cool tone but not too like leery either. Um, something with a midi heel that I could walk around in easily. They do have zips up the side. They've got the kind of pointed toe but squared at the end which I really like and is again flattering on the legs. And yeah I just I love a animal print boot. I think you can kind of pass off as being really quite high fashion if you wear something quite plain but then have a bit of a boot that shouts. I really like that look. I do the same with like my lipstick as well and I could easily wear like this red lip with this black outfit with some boots and then maybe like the big top shop kind of green coat something like that I think would look really really cool. Again, something I wear with my all black outfits, but a white pair of Converse. As you can see, these two are really loved. I need to give them a wash. I actually picked these up in a leather finish. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not the canvas, it's the leather, which just means they're wipeable instead of putting them in the machine, and then I can just throw the laces in the machine separately. Um, and I've had these, honestly, for like six years, and they're a little bit beat up, but I don't mind. They're still cool, and they are just a color 
classic trainer that everybody needs to have. Um, I switch between these and my Adidas, like probably, I think they're like a Stan Smith or something. Um, but yeah, just really easy to like throw on, walk around and really light, really comfortable. And again, just one of those purchases that I think is just really classic and you have to have these in your wardrobe because everybody does. Also a really great summer shoe and goes with like dresses and skirts really well if you want to do that kind of look. Now we're moving on to a few accessories. I'll start with the most expensive and the thing I always talk about just to get it out of the way. I bought this as a present when um, modeling just started to go really well and just as a present to myself to be like, you've gone through so much and put up with so much nonsense. So well done. It's the Givenchy Antigona bag. Autumn winter, it comes into a, its own and it really is my little bit. I love her so much. I feel like I can't wear this in summer because it's too heavy. It looks too heavy. It's a heavy bag as well, but it does just look a little bit too too wintry in summer. So in winter and autumn, this really comes out. It's got a great width to it, so it could almost pass off as like a weekend bag. You can get like a laptop in here. Honestly, if you can buy one thing in the Cyber Week sales, go on Selfridges and find this Givenchy. I always have it linked on my like to lower profile, um, but also I'll be doing more like Cyber Week posting and stuff on my Instagram with direct links and what's going on, blah, 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 blah. Um, so this bag, if you can get it, if you can afford it, if you owe yourself a present, if you can save up for a present, this was amazing to buy and I don't regret it one bit. Next for accessories are a pair of little leather gloves. Again, these are sold out, I'm afraid, but I did find some dupes and I've linked them below from Topshop. Um, these are fleece lined. They're cute, they're classy, they just look like you are a woman. I feel like an elegant woman who lives in Chelsea when I wear them and it's all about creating a lifestyle for yourself. So um, they're just lovely, they're really comfortable and the only bad thing is that you need to take them off when you're using your phone. Um, it does have those like special fingers that you can like use your phone on but it doesn't work. So um, yeah, a pair of little leather gloves like this, camel coat, just winter, cute, classy, very feminine. And my final accessory and also my final item for the capsule wardrobe are a pair of sunglasses. Again, there's just something about these that kind of say autumn, winter rather than summer. I think it's because they're quite dark, they're quite heavy. I put these on and I feel famous. If you look up Celine, these are the Catherines. There are so many cool celebrities that wear them and that's basically the reason I bought them. Um, I love when you turn on the side and they have that slight cat eye but they're just big and if like me you have a big face or a big head you need some big glasses to go with. Again it's another purchase that you can get from Selfridges, I'll link these below. Also Amazon sell them as well, in fact Amazon only have these colourway in stock at the moment. You can't find these anywhere else so do definitely link use the link below for these. Um, and yeah, they're a couple of hundred pounds, but again, really worth it and come in a really cute Celine case and they just look cool. They look so cool and every single time I wear these on my Instagram stories, I always get DMs about where they're from and they are always out of stock. So hopefully they're in stock for when you see this. So that is my autumn winter capsule wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed watching it and have had a few ideas about which textures can go together, which colors, which styles, um, and maybe you even wanna think about which bits will go together and create some outfit looks. Everything will be linked in the description bar below. And yeah, let me know how you find creating a capsule wardrobe, if you do build them, if you don't and why you don't, or if you have had any ideas after watching this video. So thank you again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, it means so much to me and as soon as I hit 1k followers I will be so happy. It's so funny building a platform after you've already built one platform and you feel like you're quite successful on like Instagram and kind of starting from scratch on YouTube but I'm really appreciating the grind and I'm really enjoying it here on YouTube and horizontal videos are just the best. So thank you for following me and watching and liking and commenting in advance and I will see you on the next video. Also if you have any suggestions for other videos you would like to see please comment below. I'm always thinking of new ideas so any recommendations would be really helpful. Okay.